uh, you may notice that this point doesn't line up with our grid and we're able to realign that quite easily so we're going to learn another tool and that's our our um, what do you call it sort of click click and drag you know selection box you may notice you're not able to select by default because it's under a shortcut if you hit B on our keyboard it'll bring bring up box select that's what it that's what I'm thinking of box select so B will bring up box select and you're able to click and drag a selection so whatever's within our selection will be selected so in this case we've selected this vertice oh but you may notice it's not selected our vertice behind it and that's because we've got a sort of a special limit selection enabled so that will actually clip what's selected if you disable that you're actually able to see the edges behind it so you just see the difference between that so if we disable that and then come back into our front view and now we box select both will be selected together now I want to snap this back to our grid so before I do that I'm going to select the bottom vertices by panning down box select and then I'm going to do a new shortcut which is shift S and shift S will bring up a menu and this is our snap menu and we're able to snap whatever selection or our cursor to whatever we have so we're going to do snap selection so our selected vertices to grid and that will snap it to the nearest grid point so you can see there that's now snapped to the grid and we'll do the same we'll zoom out we'll press B we will box select all these vertices come and zoom in you see it's not snapped we we'll hit shift S and we'll snap to grid okay so that's looking pretty good as our fence I might want to make it a little bit taller so again box select if I box select these vertices you can see here I've selected all four of the top vertices I'm going to hit G for grab and I'm going to bring it up a little bit along our Z axis and I'm just going to check whether these are all to the grid that looks pretty good uh, yeah. So you can see I am working to, to the grid here at the moment. You don't necessarily have to, but um, there's a reason for this, and I'm going to talk about that in a bit. But working to the grid for a beginner is quite useful as you'll get very accurate um, objects. And if you're building something that's a box, it can help as well uh, to get the proportions and things to align correctly.